hello everyone uh, welcome back to another video in today's video we're going to discuss how we can uh, find trap traders on any given day and uh, use it to position ourselves for taking scalps or intraday trades so what we're going to use is essentially cot high and low along with max delta and min delta uh, to find these trap traders and eventually take a trade so uh, if you've not seen my previous video in which I have explained what is COT high and low, I'll just briefly explain for someone who is new over here and uh, then we'll move ahead and find uh, the areas on charts where you can use this uh, strategy or use this met method or concept to find it uh, on intraday braces, I mean on every day. And it works uh, actually on all time frames, uh, for example, even on 15 and 30 minutes, uh, you can use the same concept and find really good zones where you can, uh, I mean, uh, position yourselves and wait for the price action or the price to move and then eventually take a trade. So uh, what is COT high? So uh, when you see a candlestick, okay, and uh, for example, this can be anything. Let's consider this to be a one minute bar uh, because we have these one minute bars plotted over here. So uh, COT high is the time from uh, or the point from where uh, the price made a new hide in a, in a bar for example this was the high so let's assume that this was the open this was the close uh, this is obviously the low and this is the high so uh, the price would have moved something like this okay let's assume it is going like this and uh, it makes a new high over here at this point let's consider this point as b okay and uh, let's consider this low as a okay now uh, from the time it makes a new high to the time let's assume it closes over here like uh, it does over here to this point this is cot high okay so uh, this is what you can call as cot high now this keeps changing throughout the bar but when the bar closes this is the cot high so at this point if you had to calculate cot high it would have been uh, just I mean absolutely uh, nothing or zero because this was the high of the bar and from here uh, the market didn't move anywhere whereas at this point let's consider this point as D the COT high would have been uh, the Delta over here okay so uh, this is primarily what is COT high and uh, between when the bar closes the Delta from B to C is COT high similarly COT low is the point from where it made the new low to the point where it closes so this was the low and this low was never breached so the delta along all this path to this path so a to c the delta is known as cot low so this is key in understanding to taking trades and uh, actually understanding what the numbers are saying it's very easy to say cot high and low and you're not understanding what is happening within the bar so that uh, you can actually make sense when you're taking a trade now uh, it is again having said all this it is very difficult to monitor this uh, on every bar every time all the time and throughout the day so as i keep saying it this makes sense only when you are looking at it at points that are your zones where you're planning to take a trade so when i look at this chart okay this is a uh, 20,300 C. So this time we I mean, uh, we're changing a little bit. We're not going with Nifty futures. This is 20,300 C Nifty because most of us uh, trade options. So uh, this is how, uh, I mean, I have plotted the chart and we're going to just look at it. So assume that we didn't have all this, okay? And uh, the first 45 one hour, uh, we, we just assume that we have not seen this part of the day. Now, when I see this uh, move happening, uh, let's assume we've all missed this and uh, the first thing that we do is draw important zones I'm not even considering the previous day zones because this is a new high being made on all uh, fronts on the C's on the P's so this is one uh, point where it broke the resistance zone so obviously it becomes a support the other low volume node that we see later uh, over here is somewhere let me draw this again so uh, it's not uh, I mean we don't know whether the market will test this area but if it does we should be ready to take a trade and the other one is this one which is very close so you can have that in picture the other one you can draw is somewhere here a low volume node and a sort of now this is uh, you can actually uh, change the colors and mark them because these two zones are of great uh, importance or significance in the sense because the market has moved significantly higher from these points and you can get a good retracement or a pullback or a good scalp from these zones now uh, let's take out this one so we have a little clear chart and similarly 
uh, when you uh, look at the top over here so when we see this zone this is one zone where we saw a good uh, drop from so uh, we make this zone as the resistance zone and the other one that we see is this low volume node from where we again saw the pullback was there but the market could go higher from there and uh, we saw another uh, resistance zone over here now these are the zones that we have marked based on our uh, price action or the auction that has taken place till about 10 20. now uh, the first time this is coming back here all of us know when it, it comes back here with the price action it is most probably going to take support of uh, this place now uh, what our strategy is going to be is obviously we're looking to go long from here but what we want to see when we are coming over here is that uh, when this is happening we want to see trap traders by trap traders at this point is uh, before i expand it i'll just uh, want to uh, want to show it to you that whenever the market reaches this zone i want to be seeing some sellers that come in and uh, in good quantity obviously the volumes will go up this is when we start monitoring this is our uh, i mean level where we start interacting with the markets because we're going to take a position over here and uh, this is the level where we want to find trap traders so we want to see a lot of uh, traders that are in this zone or this zone just below the vwap uh, and they get trapped i mean they wanted to sell because it has moved down uh, from the vwap they wanted to sell and all these sellers or all these stop losses get triggered and then we want to see a move up now this is with respect to the uh, maximum number of sellers being seen in this area the next thing that we want to see is uh, with respect to cot high and low so the cot low uh, at one point would be negative for sure because when it comes down and from here from from the time it makes a new low to the time it closes obviously this area would have a lot of sellers okay so the initial part when the candle is actually uh, forming you will see a lot of sellers and the cot low would also be negative okay but in the next part we want to see is a substantial difference from this bar wherein we start seeing some sort of buyers also stepping in, in the next bar and the cot high obviously which is very negative uh, starts to become a little uh, lesser negative and the cot low starts becoming positive so what it essentially means is that uh, till this point uh, till this point all the sellers uh, that were coming in were actually pushing the markets down but at some point over here the selling aggression that was happening has been stopped or has been absorbed in sorts uh, absorbed of sorts and then the other side has started to move and come in that is the bias so the market can move in the other direction only when aggressive market orders uh, aggressive market buy or orders step in the market so we do want to see cot low also picking up after this with a reduction in cot high okay so having said that now let's get into the numbers part and see what was actually happening here so this is a point where we first look at taking a trade so these are the volume bars that i discussed in my previous videos so what these bars are doing is nothing but the darker shades shows uh, places where high volume has transacted the dark blue lines of course are uh, the poc and they're extended only if it crosses a uh, certain threshold okay so uh, i've discussed all this in the previous week's video you can go and watch that so over here as we see a huge chunk of volume and now let's get the numbers also out okay so uh, as soon as i see this volume i'm waiting at this zone because this is a vwap this is a, a potential support zone that we have seen so the three places where i see very good volumes is these dark numbers you can see is these three areas okay and look at the uh, this is the first part is the delta now look at the min delta at one point we had minus 5k delta okay this is almost i mean uh, this is a huge number okay and uh, the cot high that means uh, from the time it makes a new high to the time it closes so whatever has happened so these all this number is really high so uh, from the time it the delta was the minimum that is po minus 0.432 to the time it uh, i mean closes and cot high some sort of sellers have, have uh, stepped in and what is really interesting is generally in these bars you will see a negative number on the cot high as well so at this point there are certain people who have stepped in the number is very less of course 54 but there is some sort of buying a little bit it's very less that is coming so obviously i don't want to step in at this bar because i have not seen any sort of buying that have, uh, has stepped in 
i of course know that at this zone if uh, these guys all this these guys if the market starts moving above this for some time all these guys will get trapped and i'll get a good move to the upside okay so uh, let's look at what happens at the next bar and then in the next bar you see the cot high again uh, the minimum delta uh, min delta is again minus 1.4k now this is a very interesting bar where we see the first sign of sellers getting trapped okay look at the min delta which is minus 1.4k and uh, the cot high is just 36 okay so that means some sort of buyers have stepped in so at one point there were these these many number of sellers that is, that were overpowering the buyers but by the time the bar closes the cot high that means from the time it made a new high this part absolutely there is nothing minus 36 and in fact the cot low that means from this part to the time it bar closes over here so even this one has a very minimum num uh, number minus 120 so this is a trigger for you that look at the minus i mean the min delta over here and look at the cot high and low numbers okay this is an indication that first uh, firstly there are a lot of sellers that was aggressive have uh, been neutraled uh, or uh, have been taken over by the aggressive uh, buyers of the market buy orders that have come in by looking at the numbers and this is the first indication that this zone might give you some sort of uh, support and if it doesn't fall i generally look for a retest and when this comes here i uh, take my entry and the next one uh, obviously you see the next bar suddenly there's a huge uh, buy volume but even this buy volume uh, is on the other side uh, what i mean by that is these guys uh, these buyers are also trapped over here if you look at it look at these numbers 0.27 uh, i mean uh, this is the delta that closes look at the max delta and uh, look at the cot low and look at the cot high so there are absolutely no sellers here but these guys over here are uh, primarily buyers again looking for a pullback uh, or stop losses getting triggered or the guys who wanted to buy at vwaps so a lot of traders have come in and uh, what i am essentially looking is at a potential support zone and when this comes at this point okay uh, this is a high volume bar again look at the delta that the guys that have tried to step in these guys these are all sellers okay and um, even the next bar these look at these volumes these min delta look at the min delta volumes and look at the closing i mean the cot high volumes so this is still uh, i mean i wouldn't want to buy over here but look at this minus 504 and the uh, for after a long time the cot low has now gone above cot high okay so this is the time where i was waiting and i uh, plan to enter my trade over here and the stop loss over here uh, is i'll just show you is below this zone over here and the target of course is the low volume node over here okay and after that let's see it plays out i mean it doesn't take a stop loss it tries to go down and eventually moves up so you can see the same thing happening uh, over and over, over again at uh, important places so uh, when this test was taking place uh, obviously uh, we have a i mean i had a doubt in my mind wherein because these buyers were trapped okay look at these bars okay but what made me confident at this point was uh, as i said look at the uh, min delta over here and look at the cot low this bar was still okay but the next bar the min delta is high and the cot low has drastically come down and after a long long while if you look at the previous bars after a long long while the cot high has uh, i mean the cot low has crossed the cot high barring aside this bar which is a very low volume bar so what you have to do is just uh, low volume bars like these are to be not considered for your uh, i mean decision making look at this bar uh, and this is another sign when it is going up the volume is decreasing so there is very little probability that this is going to break like this we are not going to break with volumes dropping down when it is going up in the retest uh, when we see something like this which i just spoke about we uh, take our entry and then uh, put our stop losses here and then whatever happens happens and it goes like that so this generally works 60 to 70 percent of the times you can say the same thing uh, let's consider a zone on the opposite side okay let's consider this one okay again you see the volumes pick up now uh, 
when you see something like that it is actually very scary to go and short this this is a potential resistance zone that we've drawn from the previous i mean from the earlier part of the day and when we move here uh, let's have a look at what happened over here okay so again look at this first bar and uh, you see the max delta is really high the cot low is again very high and when you look at these bars you can see uh, the high volume nodes and zones are somewhere here okay so you can just draw this zone now uh, if you've seen the max delta min delta strategy this is also a, a good strategy which you can use along with cot high and low so whenever this zone breaks where i am seeing a lot of traders that are obviously buyers they could have been stops that got triggered over here and then the market if it had to move on the upside uh, there was another big up bar same volume over here if you look at this place which is the most interesting bar look at this volume and look at this volume. they're almost same 13 to 10.54 K and this time again the uh, max delta is really high but look at what happens at the COT high and low this is very interesting look at the spread of the bar in this bar okay and look at what is happening in this bar the COT high that means from the time it makes a new high to the time it closes this zone stellars have certainly stepped in and their market uh, sell orders that are showing in here so minus 2000 at one point the max delta was 3.02 k the closing delta is 865 so obviously this these sellers have stepped in at this zone the cot high indicates that the sellers that are here are all in this zone okay from the closing price and this so in this bar which is a very high volume bar we are seeing stellar step in so even if you're long over here this is your first sign that you have to get out then the next bar which gives us a good indication again a good high volume bar 8.71 and look at uh, what's happening here the max delta is 834 and the closing delta is minus 3.342 uh, the bar closes down and again look at this okay cot high so uh, from the time it makes a new high to the close this zone this is the second time the sellers have stepped in and they again step in the third time and take it really down okay look at this bar and now if you have to step in this is your entry point because you're very sure i'll just delete everything because if you're wrong we are wrong and the stop loss just remains this part we are very sure that this zone is full of sellers what is telling us look at all this okay so if you calculate at this zone you've almost got two plus one three five to six thousand case sellers quantity of sellers are right here okay at this point and that is why we tend to i mean uh, it becomes a logical place to take a shot over here and the stop loss above here and the next target is if you see at this zone you can see the volume profile as well and you see so much of volume getting clustered and the poc is all in this room so this can be your uh, target area over here this is of course more than one is to one or one is to 1.5 and uh, you can plan your trade accordingly so you can go ahead and see all these types of uh, things playing out in all types of days and uh, even uh, bigger time frames you can this is a one minute chart you can go into a five minute chart you can go into a 15 minute chart the longer the time frame the better the position so this is what we're talking about scalps so that is why we're looking at such shorter time frames if you look at the 15 and 30 minute chart uh, 30 minute bar of course the zones that are made out of this are really good zones and they can be carried forward for swing trading as well and uh, overnight positions so hopefully uh, you guys uh, could make use of this video until next time thank you bye bye